Hi there, first grades. So this week's Caldecott Award winner is a gold medal winner from 1983. This story is called Once a Mouse. It is written and illustrated by Marsha Brown. And the way that she created the illustrations in this book, and this was quite a long time ago, and this was really new for her to try this, she made wood cuttings. So almost, you know how when you look at a rubber stamp, there's raised parts and lowered parts. So she carved into wood the form that she wanted to have on the page, then pressed it into ink and pressed it on the page. And that left the imprint of, of what she was interested in drawing. This is a story from India. Um, it is the one vocabulary word I want to talk about before we read it is that the, one of the characters in it is they call him a hermit. And a hermit is someone who lives all by himself, stays all by himself or herself. Um, and lots of times people become a hermit because they're, they're very spiritual, they're very religious, and they want to just stay and sort of commune with God by themselves. Um, so anyway, the book is called, if I didn't already say it, Once a Mouse, 1983, Caldecott Award winner, gold medal. And so when you see these pictures, think about what I told you about how she kind of almost rubber stamped it, but with wood, wood cuttings and stamped onto the page and then colored in the background of everything. So it's a very time-consuming process. And that was why one of the reasons the committee liked it so much, because it was really different. Um, this is a fable. So a fable is an old story. It's a kind of folktale. So it's a very old story that's been around for a long time. Fables, besides being old, have two other rules that they always follow. There are always animals in a fable, and they always teach us some kind of lesson. So Once a Mouse, a story from ancient India by Marsha Brown. One day, a hermit sat, and I just moved this a little bit, sat thinking about big and little. Suddenly, he saw a mouse about to be snatched up by a crow. He hurried to help the poor little animal and tearing him from the crow's greedy beak, he carried him off to his hut in the forest where he comforted him with milk and grains of rice. But look, A cat came to the hut with whiskers straight and tail held high. But the hermit was mighty at magic as well as at prayer. When he saw the danger threatening his little pet, he quickly changed him into a stout cat. But... That night, a dog barked in the forest. Poor Puss ran to hide under the bed. The hermit wasted no time in thinking about how big or so big and changed the cat into a big dog. Not long after that, a hungry tiger was prowling in the forest and leaped on the dog. Fortunately, luckily, the hermit was nearby and with a gesture, changed the dog into a handsome royal tiger. Imagine the pride of that tiger all day long. He peacocked about the forest, lording it over the other animals. He thought he was so wonderful because he was so big and beautiful. The hermit missed nothing of all this. He noticed all this was going on and he scolded the beast. Without me, he would say to him, you would be a wretched little mouse. That is, if you were even still alive. 
There is no need to give yourself such airs. The tiger felt offended and humiliated. He forgot all the good he had received from the old man. No one shall tell me that I was once a mouse. I will kill him. But the hermit read the tiger's mind. He knew what the tiger was thinking. You are ungrateful. Go back to the forest and be a mouse again. So the proud and handsome tiger turned back into a frightened, humble little mouse. That ran off into the forest and was never seen again. And the hermit sat thinking about big and little. So this is also a kind of story called a circle story. Have you heard of a circle story? That is a story that ends the same way it begins. So at the very beginning, the mouse is a mouse and the hermit is sitting and thinking about big and little. And we have all kinds of things that happened in between. The mouse was turned into a cat and then a dog and then a tiger. But at the end, the mouse is back to being a mouse. And the hermit is thinking again about big and little. I hope you liked it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.